Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to give y'all a video about chipping tips for entrepreneurs. So I'm gonna share with y'all what printer I use, where I get my mailers, and things of that sort. So if you're interested in that, stick around. If not, you should still stick around because you never know what your girl gonna hook you up with. Got some good information for you, but. First and foremost, I use uh, this software called Pirate Ship to ship off my orders and things of that sort. Pirate Ship is a free online shipping company business and um, what they do is you ship through USPS and you get the sh uh, packages shipped at a discounted rate so sometimes it'll be like 20% off 30% off it pretty pretty much just depends but I like to use a pirate ship because one um, it keeps all of your orders everything you shipped in one spot so you can always flip back through the folder so if someone comes to you with a question about like oh where's my package you don't have to sift through usps receipts find a tracking number track down a zip code this that, and the third on the website i'll put it right here a screenshot it has uh, their name then their tracking number and then it has like a little status so it'll say like in transit ready to ship delivered or something and then you can click the link and then it'll pop up a bar and it'll tell you where it is and they also have it where it'll take you directly to USPS's website and it'll show you every uh, step for the tracking. And I love that. And another thing is you print at home so you don't have to stand in the lines at the post office and wait for them to, you know, give you the price and all of that. So it's discounted. You don't have to wait in line. You can actually drop them in the blue mailboxes or you can go into the post office and drop it in the mail slot. I prefer... At first, I was just waiting in the line, but then once the line started getting longer around holiday time, I'm like, you know what? It's just not waiting in the line. So the mailman told me I can drop them in the mail slots uh, that they have in the store. So that's what I do. I just drop it in the mail slot. Saves a ton of time, saves a ton of money, and it gives you like peace of mind because in the event that somebody has a question about their order or where it is, you can always go back and find it really quick. Like you can search their name. That and also, if you have reoccurring customers, it it'll um like if you start to type in their name, it'll pop up their name and their address, so you don't have to like re put the information in there. So that's another good thing. You get um, it helps. It's it's easy to use. It's free, and I really really love Pirate Ship. Every chance that I get. I promote PirateShip.com because it's the bomb. Who don't like discounts? Who, who don't like a discount? Oh, um, I know you do. I know you like a discount. But, so PirateShip is what I use to ship off my uh, packages. <clears throat> Along with Pirate Ship, you'll need to um, have a scale at home. So that's the only down part, but you can get a scale for whatever price at Amazon, Walmart, anywhere pretty much really cheap. This is the little scale that I use. I just got this off of, I got it off Amazon. It's called Nourish. I believe it was like maybe, it was definitely less than $15, but I'm thinking it was less than 10, maybe like nine or $10. Very inexpensive. My packages that I sent off aren't really big. Um, so they do fit on this little scale, but you couldn't get a scale that's a little bigger that can fit the size of your packages. Uh, but yeah so with pirate ship you will need to have a scale so that's probably why a lot of people don't use it because they don't want to buy a scale but you save money with this option and you don't have to stand in the line and wait for them to scan your package weigh it and do all of that you don't got to do none of that none of that none of that has to be done when you use pirateship.com now um a lot of people have questions on how how much shipping they should charge for their items and I say you should charge the actual cost that it costs to ship it plus how much the, it costs for the supplies um, 
for their order. So like if you use little confettis, packing popcorns, the actual mailer or the box, I do calculate that into the shipping price because it's a shipping and handling price. It's not just shipping how much it costs to send it across there because you got to pay for the packaging, the labeling and all that stuff when it comes to shipping. So when calculating your shipping price, take into account those things. The packaging, the packing filler like popcorn, confettis, and then the actual cost to send the item. Very important. On my website, I have three uh, categories and they're all based on weight. So the cheapest that something will ship off from my website is $4.99. And then I have a middle uh, price at $7.99 and there's something that's super big or super heavy, um, it'll come out at $10. And my, um, on my website, I can put in the weight for each item and it calculates the shipping for me. So I don't have to gauge and, you know, stuff like that. It, it, I, the website automatically does it for you. It um, adds up the weight and then select the correct uh, shipping price. So that's a good thing to have the three categories to separate it so that um, you're not one charging people too much or charging people too little and it's just good to have a range of shipping and make sure that it's accurate like I don't like to get over on people so my shipping prices are true to cost like i'm not that's why i like using pirate ship because i don't have to overcharge people for shipping and because i don't like to i know i'm somebody who don't really like to pay for shipping like i'll put a whole bunch of items in my cart and then get to check out and i'll be like shipping bad i want to put everything back so i try to make it so that my shipping is as true to cost as possible but I do take into account the mailer, the popcorn, the packing, confettis, all of that into my shipping and handling costs. Um, on my website, I can add the weight to each individual item. So if you have a scale, go back, weigh each item, add the weight to the website. And when people add things to their cart, their weight tallies up. And then the website will calculate the, which shipping cost is right based on how much their package weighs. Total lifesaver, I definitely love the fact that I can do that. Because at first I didn't um I didn't know when I first started, I didn't know that you can weigh, you can put in a weight. So I was I only had one shipping price. And I wasn't really feeling that because sometimes one rollerball don't cost $7.99 to ship, and then a whole coil kit may cost more than seven dollars to ship because the weight is more so i wanted it to be like i'm not getting up on y'all but i'm not also losing money myself so i like to be upfront and honest with my customers because i love y'all you see my nice headband that i have on here edge scarf not headband my nice edge scarf it's the edges for me boo I have the It's the Edges for Me box on sale right now. Um, they are 30% off for a price of $21. And this is what it looks like. So in the It's the Edges for Me box, you get the Coil Crack Edge Control, Coil Crack Hair Growth Oil in the Rollerball, an Edge Brush in the It's the Edges for Me scarf. So lay those edges, get them laid and slay. Get y'all box. It's Black Friday. So it's on sale, 30% off. Go get them now. Once all of these are gone, they are gone. No more are coming back. I'm going to bring something new for y'all. And that's that. So once all of the scarves are gone and all of the edge rushes are gone, they will be gone. We will not be getting any more. So if you want one of these beauties, go ahead and get you one at suzycoilscare.com. Now here we go. Back to the video. So more importantly, where do I get my mailers and boxes from? So I do have a few places to which I get my uh, mailers and stuff from. My favorite is Amazon because if you run out, they ship to you in two days on Amazon Prime. Boop. And then you can also go to envelopes.com. Um, Uline has boxes. Berlin Packaging 
has boxes as well. That's actually where I got these boxes. This is a 4x3x10 by by box. And I got those from Berlin Packaging. So you can go to envelopes.com, Amazon.com, Uline, and Berlin Packaging for boxes, mailers, all of that good stuff. They come in various colors. And they're really not that expensive, actually. So, yeah. And that's another thing that I'm going to touch on with mailers. Um, I know that it was going around that USPS gives free boxes and mailers and all this stuff. Yes, they do provide free boxes and mailers, but those mailers come at a standard price. So the shipping for whatever you put in there is going to be that standard price. And I think it changes based on the size, based on the box and all that stuff. It's not really just because the packaging is free. One, is ugly. And two, you overcharge people for shipping because you wanted to just get these free boxes when it's very, very, very inexpensive to get your own custom mailer boxes. And then it's cute when it show up in the mail. People know they're getting a Susie Coils care because it's going to come in a purple mailer. They're like, ooh, oh, my coil crack is here. Oh, all that. Because they know that it's going to come in a purple mailer. They are ha they are happy for their purple package. So guys, get creative. Get customized. Do something. So that they know you're coming. And um, I also put little thank you for shopping stickers on the outside of my packages. Just so even the people that's mailing the packages they're like oh i see these little purple packages all the time what's in here in case they was wondering is natural non-toxic hair care in the package and it said thank you for shopping it just little cute have my logo on there so that uh people can see my brand pretty much all over the u.s it don't help to do a lot of self-advertising because i know when uh some of these post people post men's post male ladies male men's they um they look at the packaging and stuff like that even if they're not really paying attention it's like the more you see something you recognize it so they've been doing a mail they so happen to see me on facebook like oh i seen that somewhere where did i see that then they go to investigate so that's the key out here in this world you gotta people gotta see you multiple times before they say oh i trust that brand let me buy from them and see what they up to it's building trust and uh, being recognized, having your brand be recognized. Like, I want people to be able to see this and be like, oh, that's Suzy Coil's care. Period. That's the government. So, uh, what you guys probably have been waiting for, uh, what printer do I use for printing my labels? I use the Rolo printer. It's this size, it's small, compact, super easy to use. It's a thermal printer, so you don't need any ink. Um, it prints based on electricity. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant idea. You don't have to keep buying ink and all of that good stuff. So I got this roll-up printer from Amazon again, and it was a $179.99, which is not that expensive where or at least it wasn't that expensive to me because this is a freaking masterpiece like i literally love this print so i'm gonna actually insert a little clip so y'all can see how smooth they just print out um and then when i when i bought the printer i also bought ream of printer sheets and the printer sheets um came with 500 in the pack and that was uh, $19.99. So, there you go. I would suggest that you get the sheets with the printer because they did not come with any sheets at all. So, don't just buy the printer without getting the sheets. And it's 500 sheets for $20. That's a good deal. And I'm, I'm going to say this again. I really like this printer. It's super easy to use it wasn't confusing to use at all um but you do need to make sure that it works with the type of computer you have um i have a macbook air my boyfriend has a macbook pro for some whatever reason 
this thermal printer doesn't print from my MacBook Air, but it does print from the Pro, and I believe on there it does print from Windows. Um, so if you have like an HP or Acer or Google Chrome, anything other than a Mac, it should be able to work. That's why you read the details, people on Amazon. Always, always, always read the details, dimensions, and reviews on Amazon all the time. Now, if, if you can't afford the printer at this moment, you can still use Pirate Ship to ship. You can just go ahead and get some like sticker paper and print your labels on there. You can also get paper from Amazon for that. You can pretty much get anything in this world on Amazon if you did not know. No, this is not an Amazon promo video, but Amazon is the bomb because they get you something in two days. It's just like two day shipping, bro. They changed the game. Like sometimes I'd be so lazy, I just order from Amazon instead of just going to the store because I know it'll be here in two days. Like I ain't even gonna go outside, I'm just let let Prime bring it. And sometimes it'll be popping up in one day. Now that's that. Now guys, this video is complete. Um, if I missed anything relating to shipping that you have questions about, drop them in my comments below. Y'all know I got y'all. Y'all know I'm responsive. Y'all know I'm going to answer your questions. If you have any other topics that you want me to um, touch upon for entrepreneurs, drop them below. I will conjure something up for you, put the video together, and hopefully I can help you with progressing your business and all of those things um also like comment and subscribe to my channel guys if you like my content thank you thank you for watching this video and i am alex